They gave my son painkillers to treat physical pain. There's no pain, there's nothing to treat our pain. Julia and I's pain, you know, there's nothing. No woman ever wakes up in the morning making a decision, I'm going to be an addict today. Well, I was a family member. Uh, my mom battled depression, and years ago you didn't talk about it. If a, if a young person is, is reaching out, why would you slap their hand? My name is Tom McNulty. I am the creator and co-writer of Episodes. Hi, I'm Peter Hertzgard. I'm the co-writer with Tom of Episodes. I'm also the director of the film. Not only did Michael suffer from uh, a chronic disease, which is Crohn's, he got another one, which is addiction. I've struggled with depression, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder uh, for a couple of years, since I was 15 years old. Um, and unfortunately, that escalated into an episode, and I tried committing suicide. We got so much wrong advice about trying to help Michael. The uh, one thing that Michael needed from us the most was love. Families need to tell their kids, we love you, we'll help you through whatever, we're here for you. Not one person asked me, are you okay? How are you doing? How are you feeling? We don't talk to each other. And when we talk, we don't listen. We need to listen. Julie and I should have listened to Michael when he said, I'm trying, Dad. Communication is so important, and Episodes actually shows you why communication within the family is so important. Episodes is meant to rattle the cages a bit and to stir up emotions in people to say, no more, we need the information, we need to have better communication. It was a difficult conversation to have at first with my parents because I, I didn't know how to talk about it with them, they didn't know how to talk about it with me. Episodes is so important because it gives the family a chance to, to look at a um, situation and to talk about it afterwards. How many parents knew about Lortabs and hydrocodone and oxycodone? These are the killers. At the last number that the CDC has, has given us, we have 64, over 64,000 deaths in this country. We should talk about that. We should talk about the death. We should let people know that there's a way to avoid death. What I'm hoping with this movie is that there can be some meaningful change. And the more that you can do to collaborate and to come together as a family and say, we're gonna fight this battle together, that's what matters. And that's what this movie is to me because real people were interviewed. The story of episodes is a really compelling one because it's based on a real life experience that Tom has had when he was in a day treatment substance abuse uh, facility uh, many years ago when he was a therapist. Addiction has no face. It has no socioeconomic status. Mental health is treatable. Addictions is something that is not, it, it doesn't villainize a, a human being. They're still a person. And that's what this movie is trying to combat, is this whole stigma around mental illness and addiction. Because we believe everyone has a real story that others need to understand. And that also gets us hopefully past all the stigmatization that has been going on with addiction and helps create a greater sense of people having compassion and wanting to be interactive with those around them that are going through a challenge like this. And episodes actually shows you how communication can be included in the family and create a love and closeness and kindness behind family members. We're going to create a real experience of what it feels like on some level for the audience members to, to know what it feels like to be somebody who feels separated out or lonely. When there's a relationship that breaks up or a relationship they wish they had, the kids turn to something to make them feel better. And that's what episodes will highlight in a very clinically sound format. I'm grateful that my parents and I got through it and that my parents and I have a better relationship than we ever have before and that I'm able to call my parents and say I love you and have them say I love you too. I'm sure you know families in your neighborhood who lost someone and they say I wish I knew before all this happened. The common thread between all of them is that they didn't tell us. I didn't know. 
a movie-like episode should let you know.